What's going on legends? Welcome back. Okay, so in the last couple of videos we talked about the dimensions that dealt with width and height. So for this video, I want to talk about uh, the dimensions that deal with inner width and probably in the next video we'll talk about the dimensions that deal with inner height. Now, these are very important because they're different from the last two methods that we talked about. Inner width deals with, it, it's a dimension that deals with width of just one element. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So say we have our code right here. And let's just go ahead and duplicate this really quick. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it. And we'll call this big square or just big. And we'll double the size, 800 in height by 400 in width. Now let's put this outside of our square. So we're gonna have our small square, or I guess it's gonna be a small square inside of our big square. So we'll call this div ID equals big. Let's go ahead and close this out. Dip, just like that. And up here, let's go ahead and change our method from height to inner width, which, nope, inner width. We'll save it. Let's go ahead and open this up in a browser, Safari. Okay, now that didn't work. Oh, let's go ahead and give it a border. It did work, but it's they're just both orange. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it, we'll say border for square, black, two pixels, spotted. I don't know. It's going to look weird. It didn't work. I'm going to have these in reverse order. We'll do five pixels, black, solid should work okay so if we click right here it's going to give us the width of just the first element just uh just one element and it doesn't include a little css recap it only includes padding it doesn't include our border or five pixel border as well as our margin keep in mind margin is outside padding is inside and i look, I look at this browser and by default looks like safari has about uh, 10 pixels margin and width by 10 pixels margin and height just by default. Every browser has their default stuff, you know, their font and uh, obviously their color is going to be white. But um, let's check this out. So let's go ahead and click our release the hounds down here. And there it is. Height of the, no, 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 no. Inner width. trying to confuse anybody. It's the last thing I want to do. Inner width of this div is 210. So all it's talking about right here is the width that starts from here, right here, to right here. Just like that. It's not including the border, nor does it include the margin. It just includes the padding. So if we look at our padding right here, we've got, we could pretty much figure this out. So we've got our, where's our square? We've got a width of two, 10 in pixels, and then our padding from the left is uh, 10 pixels. So if, let's go ahead and save this, or reload this, it's 210. So we just added our 200 in width by our 10 pixels. So obviously if we change this, our inner width is gonna fluctuate, so we'll set it to 30. So now when we reload it, it should be set to 230. Inner width of this div is now 230. And it only affects the width. So if we go ahead and change the padding from the top, do it to 50 pixels, it's still going to be 230. It's still just going to be your inner width is at 230. Just like that. Inner width is 230. And keep in mind, if you wanted to add padding, or uh, sorry to confuse you, margin or a bigger border, it'd still be that 230. So let's go ahead and do margin, I don't know, 50 pixels, just like that and we'll give it a border of 15 pixels. I'm save it, reload it, it's still 230. Wait, how come our margin didn't work? Where's our margin? Margin left. Bumps it over there like that, it's still gonna be 230. All right guys, so long story short, inner width just deals with one element and it only deals with padding. It's only gonna accumulate padding plus whatever you set your width at. It's not gonna include your border or your margin. All right guys, good luck with this. Hopefully it made sense. I'll see you in the next video.